Got some beautiful lighting today. My, my plant Millie, the money tree, she's flourishing. And we got some heat for you guys today. What's good everybody, this is your boy DB Kicks and we are back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be styling the Converse Chuck 70 in the chocolate brown colorway. And this is my first time wearing the Converse Chuck Taylor High in general. I would definitely appreciate if you guys could give me your honest feedback on each and every one of these outfits. Constructive criticism is allowed on this channel. Just do not be disrespectful, all right? So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Anything that I can find, I will link in the description box below. And also to get this out of the way, my dimensions, I am 5'8", about 160 pounds. Your boy lost a little bit of weight, 32 to a 33 waist, depending on the pants, size eight in the sneakers, medium and t-shirts, hoodies, all of that stuff, unless I upsize anything uh, due to how it fits or anything like that. Fitted cap, seven and one four. And that should be it. First outfit, we're gonna start off with a little bit of a punk you know, kind of vibe, you know what I'm saying? This is the Chuck Taylor, so I felt like this outfit was very, very fitting. So this is a Budweiser vintage style graphic t-shirt. I don't have a whole lot of graphic t-shirts. That's something I'm working on for the summer, but this t-shirt just fits perfectly with the Converse Chuck 70. And it's just one of my favorite graphic tees that goes with a lot of sneakers in my collections. A pair of Gap Flex jeans, just that whole washed out vibe look, I thought was a very good, uh, very good way to bring out the brown and the Chuck Taylor 70. The Chuck Taylor, it does have, it's an all brown upper, but it does have black and cream going around the entire sneaker. So I figured why not do an all black outfit and match the brown Converse Chuck 70 with the accents on the t-shirt, give it a nice cuff, you know what I'm saying? So these are a slim fit pair of jeans and I did tailor them and get them tapered at the tailor shop, so that's why they fit perfect the way that they do i just added the cuff because i really like the cuff on the converse chuck 70 and i topped that off with a fair god essentials fitted cap to go with the outfit all black all right next outfit we do have something very very fire in my opinion so this outfit the statement piece is definitely the fitted cap this is a seattle mariners fitted cap i believe this was a collaboration between sticker politics and new era i actually just came back from dallas so i got a chance to visit their Dallas location store. But anyways, this fitted cap is crazy. You got a two-tone fitted cap with mustard, olive green, and the side patch has brown and all the different colors in it. So I figured why not throw that on with the Chuck Taylors. And the hoodie is from J. Crew. The website might call it Sunflower or something like that. With a pair of All Saints slim denim pants. Love this wash. This wash is not too dark, it's not too light. So I feel like it complements the yellow and the outfit very, very well. And I figured why not, you know, if you're out running errands and stuff like that, don't be scared to wear a tote bag. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think tote bags are kind of, they're kind of intimidating. Even I still get slightly intimidated when wearing them, but I think if they're done right and you're wearing it, even just the way you hold it, the way you wear it, most guys don't want to come off as too feminine. You know, that's just the best way I can kind of put it. You never can fail with a hoodie and a pair of denim. Like denim had to be, thrown into this video all right probably my favorite out of the bunch this is a workwear inspired outfit look camel pants in my opinion are underrated i still think a good pair of camel pants matters depending on where you get it the material the fit and you guys can see these are tapered and these fit perfect these are ralph lauren camel pants and you guys wouldn't believe i picked these up from marshall's about three years ago for i think 50 dollars. the versions that uh, polo has now i think they're about 200 bucks but even if you go and spend 200 on them, like, no, I'm not even gonna say go, go buy them. I'm gonna say find a cheaper alternative. But anyways, camel pants from Ralph Lauren with a brown Carhartt t-shirt. And I had to throw on this Nike over shirt. So, or this Nike workwear kind of shirt jacket. You know what I'm saying? It's like a very rough um, or rugged material. It's fire. I got this from the outlet in Texas as well. So in this case, mixing brands, you are safe. Nike and Converse is the same company, or well, Converse is up under Nike, if you guys did not know that. So, camel pants, brown tuck tailors, workwear, Nike shirt. This is a extremely good look in my opinion, and a brown fitted cap. Let me know what you guys think about this workwear inspired look. 
this is something, in my opinion, out of all these outfits, it's kind of like the most trendy. I don't think workwear inspired clothing is going anywhere. As long as people are still hunting for vintage Carhartt and stuff like that, I don't see it going nowhere. And now Nike's kind of getting in on this kind of thing. So I think it's a very, very good look. Something for the warmer months. All right. So summer or spring will be here before you know it. So transitioning from winter to spring, it's really dope when you can make shorts with hoodies or shorts with a sweater or shorts with a long sleeve shirt. All right. So I took it back a little bit with this outfit, kind of where I kind of started on this channel, Essentials. All right. So this is a long sleeve cream and black Essentials. The older Essentials, I gravitate towards more, but this has like a black 3M hit on the back of the shirt, which I really, really like. And the shorts are from a newer collection, the 1977 collection that wash black with the cream hits on it. And you got a nice pair of Uniqlo tube socks, Uniqlo crew socks that complement the Converse Chuck 70 very, very well. And a brown fitted cap. On to the fifth and final outfit. Now this outfit right here, get your cologne ready. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be looking fresh and feeling fresh. So this is a Kith button up, very classy, smooth, light toned outfit. I love this outfit. The t-shirt is from Kirkland. I've talked about these white tees before. One of the best white tees I've ever worn in my life, which is crazy. Like I just, I didn't know that they were that good, but I've washed them all and dried them all and they held up very, very well. Kith button up t-shirt like that caramel type of color mixed with a little bit of grays and the pants are actually j crew skinnies now these are the 450 skinny chino and as you guys can see in my opinion they're not too skinny i think they fit very very well and the fact that they are a chino pants with a commerce chuck 70 the way they sit on that chuck taylor you can see the all-star logo on the medial side of the shoe it's perfect you know what i'm saying you can't lose with this so I was kind of torn in between the two. You guys let me know what hat works better. Do you like the, the brown Stussy hat or do you like the brown chocolate brown uh, Fear of God Essentials Fitted Cap? In my opinion, either one of these do work, but if you're a hat match, have to match my shoes kind of person, then this might work better for you. But either way, you cannot take an L like this, right? So this is just a very casual, smooth outfit. These Converse Chuck 70s, they just look really, really good with anything. So let me know what was the best outfit out of the five. The Converse Chuck 70, during this video, I learned that it's probably one of the most versatile sneakers ever. You see all types of people from everywhere, people wearing a Converse Chuck 70, and I've actually never really worn it. And on top of that, the Converse Chuck 70 is way more comfortable. Putting these on, I can't wait. I can't wait to wear them. I gotta get more of the essential colors, the tonal colors, but this brown is just money. So I definitely appreciate you guys coming through, man. Showing love to the channel. I had a lot of fun making this video. I'm super proud of it. So if you guys did enjoy it, please give me, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe, share the video, all of that. I'm so close to 10K. I fell behind a little bit. I'm just a super busy guy. I'm so close, man. I'm right there. So I definitely would appreciate it if you guys show love to this video. Drop a comment, all of that stuff. And your boy DB Kicks is out.